let's look at how we would calibrate a electronic probe against neutron probe data. We're looking at a probe graph right here. And down below left, we're going to go to sensor calibration. This will not work in the stacked format. It has to be the single sensor calibration. So I click on that. And it's going to open the screen where I'm seeing the individual sensors one by one. And at the bottom of the screen, I have the neutron probe data. So let's just slide over a little. And remember these two very important buttons up here. We're going to work with full values or with three full values. So let's turn off some of these sensors. Now, this neutron probe data down here is for the same site. And we see some discrepancy here in the early stage. So let's ignore that and look at kind of the meat of it through here. And being a neutron probe, this is a linear scale and we have the field capacity set at 100. So we are going to be looking between 100 and 70, which is somewhere right in there. And uh, don't try to be too exact with it. Let's look for trends in here. So we know that we poke up above field capacity there. We're just about on it there, and we're touching on it here. So we can go and find the equivalent. And remember, I can, I can click the, the green line as often as I want until I'm satisfied with where it is. So we have two ways of doing this. I can go full, then switch to refill up here. And now I'm looking for the 70% line, which is kind of just above this point here on February 9. That's, I don't, well, that's somewhere in there. So pretty close to that point is where my 70% line wants to be. That was the, the 100 sensor, which in fact I don't have in Neutron. I just use the same as I would for the 200. So let's do the 200. And I'm looking for the same kind of line, peek through here. Oops, that's, I'm still on the, the wrong one. I'm going to switch to field capacity first. And I'm looking for this line through here, touching on those. And I think we got a, a good point. So I switch to the 70%. And again, that's a line that would be close to that level through here. We would be dropping through it at this point and at this point, not there. There, so I think that's that's pretty close. Let's switch to the 300 sensor, and I'm going to switch to the 300 sensor here. I can either leave them both on, turn the other one off, and I'm going to switch back to field capacity. And I have a similar picture, just touching the full line here and there. So somewhere right in there is what I'm looking for. And I'm going to go to my 70% refill, and which is a line through here. And very similar to the other one, just about touches that line right there. I go to the 40. Field capacity. And it seems like I'm running a little higher in this particular case, touching the full more often. I go for my 70% line, and this is a good indicator again. So it looks like we want to be right in there. I go for 500, switch to full, go to 500 here, and just about touching on that point right there, which ties in well with other information. I go to the 70, and now 70 is going to be a little higher in this case. So subsoil a little drier, and here I'm virtually on that line right now. So I'm going to put it there. I go to the last sensor of 600, go to full, switch to 600 here. And we're touching full a couple times, right in there. Maybe a tad lower. I'm going to go to the 70%. And here we're pretty low. So we're running below that number. At that point, here is a point where we're just about on it. So that means we, we dip pretty low in a number of instances here, according to that information. Okay, if we're satisfied with that, we're going to go, I'm going to just click through, make sure I got them all. 
Okay, so those are the places where I set them, and now very important, you got to click this button here to make that permanent. It's going to now go back and recalculate all this data. If it's a very old setup, it's going to take quite a while to complete. Okay, so it finally got done doing that work. It brings back the calibrated graph to the screen, and we're looking at the root zone average of that. We can compare that in, in an eye shot with the with the neutron graph. So I'm going to go to a combined graph here for a moment, bring that up, and let's take away this one so we get the others to show up. One below the other, and now you can see that these two graphs are really telling us the same thing. Now we have a well calibrated electronic probe, so we can turn off the neutron and switch to using this as a moderating probe.